Hi everyone, welcome back to another full OLO made easy video. Today we'll be going through the L shapes. So in total there are six different L shaped cases. I'll be going through each of those in the video, starting with this one here. So the first L shaped case is this one here. It's recognized by the matching corner colors here, otherwise known as headlights. And we also have a two by one bar. So with this particular case, we want to hold the headlight so that it's pointing to the left and the two by one bar at the front. In this case, this is the right handed variant of the case. And so it's solved by the right handed algorithm, uh, which is actually quite straightforward. So the algorithm goes like this, starts off with an F move, followed by double sexy. And then you end off with an F prime. Next case we have here is the mirror of the previous case. So in this case, we have the yellow headlights pointing to the right side and the two by one bar is on the front near the left. And so for this case, we can use the lefty version of the previous algorithm. So the algorithm will go like this. So it starts off with an F prime followed by a lefty double sexy. And then finishing off with an F. Alternatively, if you don't like using your left hand for the OLO algorithm, you can do this right-handed algorithm instead. Once again, quite easy to remember. Starts off with an R prime, U prime, followed by a double sledge. Finishing off with a U followed by an R. Next case on the list is this one here. So once again, headlights, but this time we have a three by one bar instead of a two by one bar. So the way I like to recognize this case is the headlights are on the right side, which means that this would be the right handed algorithm. So before I get into the algorithm, I actually want to go through the algorithm for this case because they're very similar. For this case, we should all know that the algorithm or one of the algorithms that you can use goes like this. So it's kind of like double soon, except a few moves in the middle get canceled out. So the algorithm for this case will go like this. And the reason I show that algorithm is because the algorithm for the L shaped case is exactly the same, but just with wide R moves for the first move and the last move. So to illustrate what I mean, I will now do the algorithm for the L shaped case and you'll be able to see the similarities between the two. So as mentioned, the first move is the wide R move. The rest of the algorithm is all the same until the very end where you end off with a wide R prime like that. And that solves that OLO case. So next OLO case is this one here, very similar to the previous one, headlights and three by one bar. Now with this case, you could use the left-handed algorithm of the one I showed previously, but I wouldn't actually recommend it because you can pretty easily do a U2 and do the same algorithm from the back angle here. So this is what the algorithm would look like. So wide R prime to begin with two back soons, they sort of cancel out each other in the middle. And at the end here, wide R move to finish off the algorithm. All right, so the second last L shaped case is this one here. Once again, L shaped on the top layer. This time, no headlights. We have a two by one bar at the front and a three by one bar on the side. For this case, you always want to hold the three by one bar on the side. This can be considered the front version of the algorithm because the two by one bar is at the front. The algorithm will go something like this. So the algorithm starts with a wide R move followed by a U prime, wide R2, U, wide R2, U, wide R2, U prime, wide R. And final case we have here, you can kind of think of it as the mirror of the previous one, but in this case, once again, three by one bar on the side, the two by one bar is now facing the 
back. So you can kind of think of it as the back version of the algorithm. The algorithm is very similar as well. Uh, so it starts off with an R prime. So white R prime instead of an R like this, followed by U, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, got the white R2 again, followed by a U, and then final white R prime to finish off the algorithm. All right, everyone, so that's it for all the L-shaped cases. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Like the video if you learned something new. Please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos. If you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.